My name is Lisa Malady. I'm an elementary school counselor and I am a children's book author. Today I'm going to read for you my first book, Bye Bye Pesky Fly. Some days are good days, calm, peaceful, and happy. Pig was having a feel-good kind of day. Pig was just hanging around thinking about his favorite things. Sunshine, rainbows, and the feel of cool mud on a hot summer day. Then out of the blue came a pesky fly. That pesky fly buzzed around Pig's nose. That pesky fly buzzed around Pig's ears. Before he knew it, Pig was feeling bothered by all that buzzing. Pig stopped thinking about sunshine, rainbows, and the feel of cool mud on a hot summer day. Now he was thinking about rain and thunder and prickly sticker bushes. Pig felt angry and mad. He really wanted to have a happy day. Would Pig let that pesky fly take away his happy day? No. What should Pig do? He imagined yelling at that pesky fly, go away. No, make me. Nope, yelling only makes a problem bigger. Pig could run away and hide in a cave. No, running away doesn't help. He would still feel upset and lonely too. Could he swat the pesky fly? <gasps> Never. Pig was a pig of peace. He knew it was wrong to hurt anyone or anything. Pig had to do something about his feelings to feel better. He needed to shake out that itchy feeling he gets under his skin when his mood turns sour. Pig decided that he wanted to feel calm peaceful and happy. He took a deep breath. He thought about sunshine, rainbows, and the feel of cool mud on a hot summer day. Pig decided to take a walk. He whistled a happy tune. That pesky fly flew along. That pesky fly buzzed around Pig's ears. That pesky fly buzzed around Pig's nose and then landed looking Pig right in the eyes. Pig remained calm and nicely said, Fly, I feel bothered when you buzz near my ears and nose. Please don't fly so close. That pesky fly flew off Pig's nose, putting some space between them. Thank you, said Pig. That pesky fly realized that he indeed had been a pesky fly. Now that pesky fly had to decide what to do. He imagined yelling at Pig. Stop being so sensitive. No, that wouldn't be nice. Pig had the right to feel his own feelings. He could fly away and be pesky to someone else. No, that wouldn't be nice either. That pesky fly decided Pig was good company. That pesky fly sh enjoyed sharing the sunshine. That pesky fly liked the cheerful tune. Pig whistled while he walked. That pesky fly decided a friend was a good thing to have. Sorry, pig. I promise not to buzz too close. Mind if I tag along? Not at all, replied pig. That pesky fly was true to his word. That pesky fly flew by Pig's side. Together, they shared the sunshine, rainbows, and the feel-good kind of day. That pesky fly wasn't pesky anymore. Bye-bye, pesky fly. Hello, friend. I hope you enjoyed this story about feeling peaceful, feeling grumpy, and then feeling peaceful and calm again. I hope everybody can think good things and have a wonderful day.